latch. How do you know that your baby is latched well? Well, there's a few things that go into this, and number one would be pain. So latch should not hurt. Sometimes it can be uncomfortable or even maybe hurt for a very brief time as a baby first latches and is pulling that nipple out and extending it. Once it is extended, which takes maybe 10 to 30 seconds, then the nipple should be landing in the mouth right where it should be and that pain should go away and ease up quite a bit. If that's not happening, then I would recommend breaking the suction and re-latching your baby. Another one is seeing that the jaw slash mouth seems to be open nice and wide. So a wide mouth is more likely to be a deeper latch and is more likely to have a baby that has the nipple reaching that right spot and it's going to be easier, more efficient for a baby to eat well when that mouth is wider. Now, some babies are just smaller. They have smaller mouths. They have some stiffness in the jaw or neck that might be preventing them from opening their mouth widely. And so those are things that have to be looked at if you just seem to not be able to get your baby's mouth wide. Flanging the lips is something that is talked about frequently. It's great when it happens, but it's not an absolute necessity. So you can have a good latch without flanging, especially that upper lip. Sometimes it does get tucked in. And yes, that can be a sign that something's not quite right. But if things are comfortable and your baby's swallowing and gaining weight and that lip's just not flanged, I wouldn't worry about it. Finally, babies should be able to stay on the breast, on the nipple areolar complex, and not be losing suction a lot. So if your baby seems to be popping off a lot, or you can hear that they are kind of on and then smacking and losing suction and having to get that suction back, something's not right. And it can be all sorts of different things. People talk about tongue ties a lot. It can be a tongue tie, but it can also be other things like your baby's not wide enough, or there could be other problems with the oral anatomy of your baby that make it difficult for that baby to lose suction. Sometimes the breast and the baby's mouth just are not really matched in size, especially initially when babies are small. And just letting your baby grow often helps this quite a bit. You have to get to that point where things are better, so sometimes there are some tips and tricks that can get the latch as optimal as possible until your baby does grow and things fit better. So those are just a few of the things to look for just in terms of latch to see whether things look or sound like your baby is latched well. If in doubt or if you are having persistent pain or problems, definitely reach out to a lactation professional. And if you have already met with a lactation consultant or two and they are not sure what is going on and you're still having problems, it may be time to look for a breastfeeding medicine physician who can look into the issue in a little bit more depth and from a medical perspective. I am one of those breastfeeding medicine physicians, so if you are in the Chicagoland area or in Illinois, I can help you out. So contact me, go to www.intouchpediatrics.com and contact me today. Bye-bye.